there, right? Okay, so welcome to today's Speed to Profit Marketing Hangout. Uh, glad to have you here with us, and I'm just adjusting the camera a little bit. Thank you for attending today, and thank you for being part of the Speed to Profit Marketing Buildup. Uh, <clears throat> this is a really groundbreaking piece of um, marketing, preparation, money-making process, and all kinds of good stuff that you're part of. So consider yourself part of a very, very exclusive group, and I'm really glad to he have you here. Uh, if you want to put in comments, uh, please put them right down below there in the uh, box on the event page. Put in comments or questions. You can also put them in the chat box of the Hangout. I've got st staff that will take a look at those and bring them over as we do Q&A toward the end. Uh, today is a really exciting... Uh, hangout. Now, as you know, we're we're uh, this is one, two, three, third or fourth uh, hangout in preparation for an event that's coming up, which I'll tell you about in just a few minutes. But it's really exciting. It's, it is called Speed to Profit Marketing, and it is literally um, cutting edge, cutting edge and powerful marketing techniques for the 21st century designed to get your business blasted off to its beautiful future and more importantly get your product or service the story of the benefits and solutions your product or service provides squarely in front of your ideal customer. Now, if that's something that appeals to you, the notion of getting a perfect description of your product or service right in front of your ideal customer, then Speed to Profit Marketing is exactly where you should be. So welcome. Uh, today our agenda is to talk about how to solve problems and get paid. Now, in the first uh, set of a couple of hangouts we've had, uh, we talked about some other things. We talked about authenticity. We talked about video and why that's important. We talked about a little bit about the money triangle. We'll be talking about that off and on through all of these 10 hangouts that are leading up to the Speed to Profit event because the money triangle is critical in 21st century marketing to understand what makes people buy, what makes them interested, and what makes them follow you and let you become the answer in instead of an alternative. Uh, now, if you'll bear with me for just one second, I need to refocus this, make sure that I am in focus. There, that should be better. Okay, anyway, again, so the agenda today is to talk about solving problems and getting paid. If you think about it, that's what we do every time we go to the store. You go to the store, you buy some food. Why? You're hungry. You want to eat. So you solve a problem, and the store gets paid. Uh, you go on. You want a car, used one, new one, whatever. You go to a car dealership, or you look at a CarMax, or you go online and find a used car. But you pay some money, or you exchange some value, and you get a car. You've solved a problem. You, as a business owner, you solve problems. Okay, maybe you give parenting advice, maybe you sell pet food, maybe you give investment advice and you teach people how to maximize returns on the stock market, maybe you advise people on penny stocks, maybe you sell life insurance, maybe you coach martial arts, maybe you're a piano teacher like I have been. Maybe you do any of those things and the, the, the point of all of those things is you have a skill set. You solve a problem and you get paid and that's what we're going to talk about today and we're going to relate it to speed, the name speed to profit marketing. We're going to talk about speed and why that's important. We're going to talk about the difference between information and solutions. You've heard it talked about you know the information age and how fast this the amount of information doubles in the world and and so forth uh, and we're also going to talk about um, <clears throat> uh, the last piece is th the fact that you have the ability to do this and that is one of the things that is so exciting about um, the internet and our ability to use things like Google Hangouts uh, that we're using today to get your message out so that's what we're going to do today that's the agenda uh, the next thing I want to do here is uh, move to the next slide. I want to talk about uh, the event that's coming up. Now, these 10 hangouts that we're doing are all around speed to profit marketing. Okay? Now, speed to profit marketing is the name of an event that's coming up in March, the 24th, 25th, and 26th of March. It's going to be held in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, it's going to be very, very exclusive. Uh, Max 20. 12 to 20 people will be there. The reason we're doing it small, I mean, events can be you know, like a room full of people where somebody stands up in front of the room and lectures at you and maybe even shows you some examples, but there's very little interaction and you take notes 
and maybe they give you a few minutes to discuss things in groups about how you're going to apply them and so forth. But at the end of the day, what you have is you have the sole responsibility to take everything that you heard, translate it into personal action steps, and then go home or go somewhere and then turn that into some action for you and make some money or make some progress in your business. This event is going to be different. We're actually going to do things while we're here. That's the reason it's so small because coaching in my uh, business, in the business that I have, which is Speed to Profit, and we're going to talk about that name in a minute, Speed to Profit Marketing, uh, is is dependent on implementation, implementing now, implementing fast, implementing first. And one of the keys to successful implementation is doing something immediately, cementing the learning that you have with some immediate action, immediate action, not just hearing and not even taking notes. We remember a very small percentage of what we hear, 10% or less. We remember more if we see it, more if we write it down. The most um, powerful cement tool to learning is to do something with it. So that's what we're going to do during the Speed to Profit Marketing event on the 24th, 5th, and 6th. Uh, on the 24th, 5th, and 6th, we will have three days dedicated to the three parts of uh, the money triangle. Uh, we're going to be talking a little bit more about the money triangle together. Each corner of the money triangle is really important, and it, it defines a critical piece of Speed to Profit. Now, I want to talk for just a minute about the Speed to Profit Marketing event uh, registration. If you want to find out more, please go to speedtoprofitmarketing.com. Speedtoprofitmarketing.com. The URL is there on the bottom of the page. Please go there. Uh, so you can register or you can sign up or try to get some more information there. And then we can see if that event is right for you in terms of where your business is. We have to have a good fit because it has to be people that are actually ready to blow their business up. Uh, not somebody that's thinking about maybe I'm going to take it. That won't be a fit because you'll be frustrated because of the amount of action that's going to happen on those days. Uh, so speed to profitmarketing.com is where you want to go uh, if you want to learn more about that. So let's move right into the agenda today. In terms of marketing, what is speed? Well, speed to profit are the first three words of speed to profit marketing. And let's be clear about what they mean. Profit, in the traditional sense for a business, is putting money in your pocket, right? So you want to hurry up and put money in your pocket. That's one definition of speed to profit. So why don't we look at it from the customer's point of view for a minute? What is speed to profit for your customer? Well, let's make you the customer and answer that question. If you go to a bed store and you want to buy a new bedroom set for your bedroom, you don't want it to take all day. You want them to have a right set for you negotiate a reasonable price, pay for it, arrange delivery, and be out of there. That's what you want to happen. That's what I want to have happen. Spending all day waiting to get the salesman's attention and you know, not having the right stuff. You know, you all, we all know that story. That's not speed to profit. So speed to profit means two things. Speed to profit for your customer, getting them to the right solution immediately, and speed to profit for you, which is, of course, money in your pocket. This is marketing that accomplishes that in the 21st century using the internet, using all of the social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google+, YouTube. Uh, there are more. Those are the big five. And a coordinated reputation uh, marketing process on there is the most powerful way to get in front of your ideal customer. So let's talk about why. what is speed. Well, speed, let's give some specific definitions. If you're doing marketing in the speed to profit marketing system, what is speed? Speed is give them something useful. A lot of marketing online is hype. I can do great things for you. I can solve your problem, but not exactly something they can use right then. So today, understanding what speed is and how to solve problems, we're going to do something useful, something you can take out of here today and go use to improve your marketing and make more money. Speed is something you can understand in just a couple of minutes. If it's complicated, that's the opposite of speed. It's slow. It has to be something you can implement in maybe 10 minutes. Maybe not fully implement all the way, but at least start to implement it in just a few minutes. Now, that's what you and I want when we want speed. We want something that addresses the problem we have, 
solves it, solves it quickly, and all the way, so that it's done. It's off the table. Boom, boom, boom. And we live in a sort of a really fast-paced world where iPhones and everybody's phone and email and everything is quick, quick, quick. And if we can't do something quickly for our customers, we'll lose them. So speed to profit. Something useful, something that can be consumed in a couple of minutes. Implementation can start in as little as 10 minutes, and it actually solves a real problem that customers are looking for. That's what I mean when I say speed to profit marketing. All right, good. Now, the next question is, okay, okay, Kellen, but why the speed? Why the emphasis for speed? Why so fast, so fast? Isn't, aren't things too fast already? The answer is you can decide in your own life if they're too fast. You can make adjustments to that and completely change that. If you don't know how and you feel stuck in an endless loop of not getting things done and not accomplishing what you want, then you're a perfect candidate for Break the Cage, which is a, a reinvention, a personal reinvention program I have. So I'm not going to talk right now about why things are so fast. The first answer to why speed is because that's what clients expect. It's what you expect and what I expect when we go to a store. We expect to be able to find what we want, get service pretty quickly, and get out of there. That's the name fast food. You know, get in line, get it done, get it bought, get it eaten, chomp, and then gone, right? So speed is simply how things move right now. If you're Again, if you're debilitated by speed or you want to slow it down or you want to encant, then there is another program, another process, another answer, another solution that I happen to have, but you can find many to change that about your life so that it's not frantic. So let's assume you've understood that speed is required. That's the way that it is. So why else is speed important? Well, the first thing is it's why speed? So let's answer it. It builds trust. If you go to a potential client and you solve a problem for them, even a small one, immediately, man, you get 10 points. You have, you have elevated yourself above all the hype hucksters, right, that are just making noise. So the first answer of why speed, it builds trust. It makes your client or potential client, prospect, feel like, hey, this guy's got something for me, right? It builds trust and it also builds confidence because they've already achieved a level of success with you. And again, marketing in this age when you can reach the world through the internet, and that means your competitors can reach the world through the internet, you have to have something to differentiate yourself. So speed builds confidence, it builds trust, and it also is a differentiator. So if you can solve a problem for a client faster than anyone else can, and faster and more elegantly, oh wow, you have become the answer. So that's some of the reasons why speed is so, so critical. And the last thing I want to mention is when you can do something faster than someone else in solving a real problem for your client, it also creates authority. You seem to be the expert. All right, so it creates trust, it builds credibility, it sets you apart, and it creates authority. So that's why speed. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is I want to talk about the difference between information and solutions, right? Uh, you've heard it said about the information age, right? What the heck is the information age? Well, the information age is, uh, they named it the information age because the amount of information was increasing so rapidly. Uh, I kept track of it for a while. It was said that in 1890-something, it was still possible for one person to know everything that was known. Since then, it is impossible. And at today, I think the amount of information that is available, just stuff that is known, doubles every few years. And that, that's an incredible thought. So trillions, trillions of web pages with countless trillions of pages of information. Now, whether it's useful or not, you know, judge that. But the amount of things that are known doubles every 10 years. So the information age has now become the age of complete overwhelm. We're completely buried in useless information, most of it, 
for what we need right now. You know, the gestation period of a particular mammal in South America, while that is a known fact, is not a useful thing for me in my business. It may be for you and yours if that business is, you know, you, you have a business around that animal, but probably not. You know, the exact temperature of uh, the Antarctic ice cap is interesting, but not relevant to my information. So the point I'm making with some silly examples is, while the information doubles every, uh, every few years now, the amount of information or facts that are known, what's really important is solutions. Getting from all that information solutions that matter. And so you are not in the information business. Okay, we have uh, information marketers, we call that, and that is people that sell information or, you know, s information online about how to do stuff. We're really in the business of solutions because with all that information, if you're not providing solutions, then you're not valuable. You're not valuable, so I'm going to repeat that. We used to feel, even a few years ago, two or three, that information was what was paid for. No, people don't buy information, they buy results. They want something to happen. They want something different. They want a problem solved. They want a tool to fix a relationship. They want to know how to feed their pet. I use pet food a lot because we have a bunch of dogs and cats around here. They want to know how to uh, get, get along better at work. They want to know how to finish a degree. They want to know how to get a promotion at work. They want to know how to make money from home. They want to know how to market, for example, speed to profit marketing. They're, they're on or offline business, but do it online with all the internet tools. So those are some of the things that people want to know how to do, but information isn't adequate. They want a solution. They want it actually solved, right? Okay. So that brings us to another question, which is the following. Since we don't live in the information age anymore, because it's now become the overwhelm age, what is it that we have? Well, what we have is the age of advisors, the trusted advisor age. So let me give you an example. Uh, you talk to your friends, and if your friend says that movie's great, if you felt like seeing a movie like that, you'll probably go see it. If your friend says that movie was awful, that will influence whether or not you go see it. You, me, all of us, right? If you go to a grocery store and someone, one of your neighbors says, you know, every time I go to X grocery store, the, the produce is awful, wilted, it's never fresh. That's going to taint your view. And we do that with people we trust. So the key is not to become an information provider or to even try to be one. The key is to be a trusted advisor, someone whose advice your clients and prospects trust. How do you do that? Well, we talked about that a minute ago. Speed. Solve a problem. Solve a real problem. Solve it fast. Solve it faster than anyone else and solve it more elegantly. If you can do that, you become a trusted advisor. So we talked um, in the last Hangout about a number of ways to find, in the first one we talked about how to find your client online, in the last one we talked about how to get your story in front of them, and the money triangle itself is about all of those things and about how to uh, make that real for you. So Speed to Profit Marketing is the collection of cutting edge tools and processes to make that powerful and real for you. Now. You might wonder a little bit about me. Uh, many of you have followed me for a long time, and so you know a little bit about my story. But for those, for the benefit of those that don't, I am an ex-CEO, uh, ex-COO, and been a C-level executive in the energy industry for a number of years. Uh, I spoke all over the world, and most of that work was around competitive markets. Market, marketing, the same thing I'm doing now, but it was about competitive energy markets, gas, electricity, and those kinds of things, where people where we changed by law uh, markets and structures and how they work. Well, in that process, it was easy to get a close-up and personal first-hand view of how market participants react, people that provide products and services, and people that buy, how they act, how they react, what makes them buy, what makes them not buy, and so forth. And so I got a, a fantastic hands-on education and being involved in the creation of markets and needing to make changes and I worked in the regulatory side, wrote legislation, created the markets, created the rules, that kind of thing. I got to see very powerfully what happened when tens of billions of dollars were at stake and I managed market processes that were way, way more than that in terms of the amount of money that moved around. So in that process and then I got out of that industry in 2007, in the last six years I have applied all of those things to online marketing and I have created speed to profit marketing out of that experience 
all of the cutting edge tools, social media, YouTube, video. On top of that, I've owned a recording studio, as many of you know, for 30, 30 plus years and worked with beginners and Grammy winners. That unique set of gifts and talents has given me the ability to create over these years of research and development and with the investment of an enormous amount of my own money and my company's money to create a cutting edge marketing system and process that will let you really fast solve this problem. How do I get more clients? How do I get my perfect story in front of my ideal customer? How do I explain in perfect words exactly what benefits my product or service provides to my potential customers? And get that story, that process exactly in front of your ideal person. That's what Speed to Profit Marketing does. And the outcome, of course, is more clients, happier clients, more profit for your clients, and more money in your pocket or more profit. So that's what uh, Speed to Profit Marketing is and what I have done to create it. So then, <clears throat> one of the things that you've heard and that I've heard in information marketing, the old way, is give away. Give away. We called it the free line. We called it lots of things. Giving solutions, giving advice away. One of the objections that I hear uh, about it, I call it the giveaway problem. The giveaway problem is this. Well, if I give away my best solutions, or even really good ones, what have I got left to sell? What have I got left to sell? Now that comes from a place of weakness. It comes from a place of assuming you don't have much to give. Your product or service isn't very deep and your own personal help isn't very valuable. Now that might sound kind of crude, but that's what it really means. If you're afraid, if you give away your secret trick, that you're dead and you don't have any value, then you're a one-trick pony and you're in trouble and you will not stay in business very long. On the other hand, if you know that the more someone gets to know you and the more they work with you and the more they can implement your products and services, the better results they'll get, then giving something away is the first thing you want to do, the best thing you want to do, and the fastest way to create trust and become that trusted advisor. Get your people to know, like, and trust you, and then occupy the place of trusted advisor, which, of course, is that powerful place that we need to be in in the advisory age. All right, so the giveaway problem is really solved this way, and I'm going to read you something that came out of a book by a guy who bought Yankee Stadium. Uh, you may have heard his name. He's a sports guy, Brandon Steiner. Uh, it's a book called You Gotta Have Balls, and that was the favorite saying of his very short Jewish mother. It's quite funny. So here's what he says about it, and it's what I have been preaching, but he says it in a really good way, and I'm going to read it. If you want to read the book, that'd be great. It says, do as much as you can for as many people as you can, as often as you can, without expecting anything in return. Don't worry about what you're getting back from someone you're giving something to. Don't worry about how many dollars the person's going to equal for you. It's counterintuitive, but there's definitely more joy in giving than receiving. There's a reason that's an expression, and although you may not believe it until you've had the balls to commit to this mindset. He goes on to say, most people can't do it. They're too concerned with what they're getting back from the other person. Being generous with what you have without keeping score is the only way to live. It strengthens your spirit and it keeps you focused on people who make your business what it is and it breeds success. And this is coming from a guy that's made millions in the sports uh, memorabilia business and he took Yankee Stadium apart and sold the seats and all kinds of stuff, right? And so it, it, the quote's a little bit longer, but it says basically having the right attitude will help you get to the right altitude, okay? Now, I use that quote right now because I want you to just completely set aside the idea that you can give away too much. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't have things for sale. I'm not saying you shouldn't expect to make a ton of money. And I'm not expecting you shouldn't expect to be highly compensated for your extremely valuable services. You should be on all three counts. You should expect to make a lot of money. You should expect to have people retain you for long periods of time. And you should expect to be highly compensated for your unique and powerful expertise. What you shouldn't worry about is giving it away in the form of advice to people quickly and quickly solving a problem. If you quickly solve a problem for someone that is a pesky, irritating problem they want solved, and you do it for them fast and completely, you'll have a friend for life. They will trust you, and they will come back from you and buy again 
And again, I know it. I've experienced it. It's the foundation for the quote in the book there, and it's simply a powerful tool. So the give it away problem, this is the answer. Give it away. So, oops, got to hold it up higher. Give it away. There we go. So what that means is on, the, on this series of Hangouts, between now and the Speed to Profit Marketing event on March 24th, 5th, and 6th, I'm going to give away tons of tips, information, real strategies that I am using and my clients are using to crush it. Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, even millions of dollars. And I'm going to give it away. And I know that there will be plenty of people who are desperate in fact, I've already had people indicate strong interest in being in the event, even knowing that I'm going to give this stuff away. How come? Well, there is a difference between knowing something and knowing how to use it. There is a difference between knowing how to use it and knowing how to use it fast, and knowing how to use it first, and knowing how to use it most effectively. Taking information that's free, even exactly the right information, is great if you are able to and you have time to do everything yourself. In this age of speed, that is often completely impossible and not necessary. Why reinvent the wheel? Why struggle with information and figure out everything all by yourself? Instead of do it yourself, there is the done with you model, which is called coaching, where you get someone who has successfully implemented things and they teach you, lead you, help you, draw you through a process so you get done faster more completely and more elegantly and with less mistakes, bruised knees and busted toes. Sound good? How would you like to have that process in your business? Your marketing, getting in front of the right clients really fast. That's something you want? I do. And that's why I developed Speed to Profit Marketing. All right, so, <clears throat> so the next piece is specifically addressed to those folks who struggle with the give it away uh, attitude. You can argue with me all you like. My experience teaches me what to do. My experience tells me how much money I've made and how many friends I've made and how much business I've done and how many contacts I've made by doing it. But that won't convince you. My um, affirmations, my clients' affirmations, my clients' clients' affirmations, none of that will convince you, only one thing will convince you, and that is experience is the only teacher. Uh, I was at a, an event recently where Alex uh, Mendosin was talking about that, and he kept pounding from the stage. Experience is the only teacher. And it was a fun event. I had the chance to be one of his uh, coaches at that event, and I uh, learned, uh, had a good time there, and learned a lot, met a lot of great people. Experience is the only teacher. So if you are wondering what giving your services away, giving your information away in Hangouts, in webinars, online, on your website would feel like and what it will do for you, you won't know until you try it. No amount of convincing will let you do that because it needs it to be a change of mindset and heart. So the second uh, a thing that we're talking about in information versus solutions is feel free to give solutions away. Go ahead and try it. You won't know how it feels or what it does for your business until you do. All right, so the third part of our, our class today is about big, okay? Big, big, big. See that? Big. Big money. Big happy people. These are happy clients. This is big money in your wallet. That's what you want. You want big happy clients, and you want big money in your wallet. So do I. So what is the road from where you are to big money in your wallet and big happy clients? So <clears throat> the third bullet point on the invitation to the Hangout said big solutions create big dollars. So here's what I do and here's what I advise my clients to do. Think about your product or service about what you do. I don't care what it is. I've given silly examples and serious examples in the past. Anything from relationships to, you know, how to put models together to anything. It doesn't matter. Think about your product or service. What is the most valuable thing, the most powerful change that you have ever brought about or that you can bring about with someone who takes full advantage of your product or service? What is that? Now, I don't know, but I want you to think about it in your mind. Okay, when I do breakthrough coaching, for example, 
one of the most, it's really hard to pinpoint the absolute most powerful, but one of the most powerful things is the shift that happens in someone's mind when they go from believing they just cannot do something to knowing that it's not only possible, but they can do it. Now, one of the mottos, or the motto that I use for my breakthrough business is I help people do the thing they don't believe they can do with tools they don't know they have and power they don't know they control. And when I say that to people, that resonates, and they say, wow, that sounds really powerful. But the, the most powerful thing that I give people is that moment of change when they go from thinking something's impossible, out of their reach, they can't have it, to knowing all the way to the bottom of their toes and to the top of their hairs that they can. They can do it and they can have it and they can have it now. Now those moments take place at different times in the coaching program and I have given those away for free over and over again even knowing that it is one of the most powerful things that I can do. I did that to a person, I was on stage filming videos for commercials, called them off stage, uh, I watched them take several takes, I watched their struggle, I watched them struggle with languaging, but really it was the lack of ability to look right into the camera, into their client's face, into their heart, and give them the peace and assurance that they could change and they could have the result that they were talking about. So I gave them a few minutes, uh, not even a few minutes, about a 90 second consultation. Completely changed the way they did their presentation, completely changed the power and energy, the way they showed up, and their own conviction about their own business. They came and told me later that that was a gift they'll remember the rest of their life and they were very emotional and everything else. So that powerful change is enormous. It creates wealth, it creates certainty, and it creates whole businesses. I give that away. I give it away because that's not all that's part of the service. That is one of the most powerful pieces. And when that happens, people's hearts explode with desire, with certainty, and with the ability to make happen make things happen so when you I use that as an example whatever your product or service is that moment of giving it away and creating that big change so big 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 right big solutions give you big dollars and it's been that way for me when I provide that, I did that with someone else at another event I was at. A less than a five minute consultation. They hired me for a very considerable sum of money. Not because I could, let me say the not, I won't say it that way. I'll say they hired me for a considerable sum of money because they jumped the gap from not believing something was possible to knowing in their heart that they could do it. I gave that consultation away for free. Did I know they were going to become a client? No. Did I hope they would become a client so I could finish helping them? Of course I did. Did I hope it only for the money? No. I hoped it because my fulfillment comes in helping people get that done. And my clients sense that. They know it. They tell me that all the time about how much I care, how much I want them to win, and how much they feel at. Right? I give that away for free. It's a big result. It gets big dollars. So the first piece of that is big if you provide big results, you will get paid big dollars. Okay, so let's talk about how that works. Think of what um, the most powerful solution or, or um, benefit that your uh, product or service offers. If you had exactly 10 minutes to help someone have that benefit completely, and if it takes longer than that, be clearly on the way so that they could see that potential benefit down the road a little ways. How can you do that? The advice that I have for you here in this hangout is to figure out a way to provide in 10 minutes or less a massive benefit to clients that they just walk away from you feeling like, wow, think of it in 10 minutes whatever it is changed for them. Something, some insight about their relationship, some insight about their health, their well-being, their weight, their wellness, their job, their opportunities. For me, it's people's skill and ability to do something in that. In the marketing end, it is giving people the vision suddenly 
going from I'm confused, I don't know how to get my story, I know I have a great product or service, I don't know how to get that in front of anybody, to jumping the gap to I know exactly how to get it in front of them. Holy cow, I can get it, I can tell the story, I can get it perfectly in front of them, and I can help a lot of people make a lot of money and do a lot of good. How cool is that, right? So your assignment about this from this uh, hangout is to think about your product or service and what is the most important and powerful thing you can do with somebody in 10 minutes. Figure out how to articulate language and package that. So you can provide a big result to get a big change in somebody that will lead you down the road of big dollars. It will. It does me and it does my clients. I can guarantee you that. And just like I, the quote I read there, uh, don't be afraid to give it away but it has to be a big change and it has to give the perception and feeling and contain big value. All right, so I call that the 10-minute wow. So create your 10-minute wow. And then when people are wowed, be prepared right behind that to explain the path. The path from the 10-minute wow to the complete fulfillment. The path from the 10-minute wow to money if your product or service helps them make money. The path from the 10-minute wow to an improved relationship. If the, your product or service is about relationship, dating, or getting along, or kids, the path in the 10-minute wow from realizing they can do something to changing how their teenagers act or react, the path uh, from the 10-minute wow to complete health with their pet, or how to build or do something around the house, whatever your product or service might be, how to invest money, or any of, any of them, hundreds, there's hundreds and hundreds, thousands of, of niches, right? And your riches, of course are in your niches, but they are there for your finding if and only if you can create a 10 minute wow and then you can create a path from that wow so that your potential client can see very clearly that they can get there and that you need to lead them. And when you leave them, they're desperate. I want you to help me. You just gave me this wow and I, I need you to help me finish this path. That's where the money is. That's where the money is. All right. So now you may be thinking, oh man, that sounds really good, Kellen, and that's nice, except for I can't do that. I don't know how to do that. I can't do that. It's, you know, somebody else, something else. I'm just not there. And I, this is where I want to assure you that that's not true. Now I'm going to draw a little picture here. I'm going to share my screen. Now if you're in the Hangout, you need to select the... Uh, little box that shows this. If you're on YouTube, just completely ignore this, okay? Now, I'm going to draw you a picture here. And this is what I talked about earlier. This is, this is what I call the money triangle, right? And the money triangle is really cool because if you complete the circle or the all the way around the money triangle, you are going to make big dollars. Uh, number one, this corner number one that we've talked about several times is, and if you want to know more about that, you need to um, look at the other hangouts. But this is show up consistently. In the language, whoops, good thing this is a hangout. You can make mistakes. In the language of your prospect's pain. The reason that's important is because if you show up in the language of your prospect's pain and you're able to articulate that clearly, they will know that you know the solution. And, of course, you do because that's what you're the expert in. So that's position number one. Position number two is what I want to talk about very briefly right now. And this is how you lead them on the path, the path from your 10-minute wow to the solution. And this has to do with your story. Okay? Your personal story. Uh, point two on the triangle isn't just story, but it is discover, develop, and deliver your personal story. Now, I'm not going to spend any time in detail on any of these points. We don't have time on this hangout, first of all, and second of all, we're going to spend an entire day in each of the three parts of this triangle, 
uh, at the Speed to Profit Marketing event, and those that come will have a whole day to under not only understand what happens at each point and how each point in the triangle contributes to massive money, you'll have the opportunity to implement that. You'll have the opportunity to do it, make it, use it, and turn it into cash for yourself. So the money triangle is a key and critical piece of Speed to Profit Marketing, and it is, again, the focus of the event. So now, <clears throat> the question that made me draw the money triangle there was, gee, Kellen, I hear what you're saying, but I just don't have that powerful wow or a path to great prosperity. Now, my answer to there to you is, yes, you actually do. You have it. You may not know how to express it. You may not know how to use it right now, but you have it. So if you haven't written anything down, write this down. You have that story, and it is what you are the most expert at. Something about your passion, your journey, and your process has made you both an expert in the area you help people, and that has it has made you passionate about it. You have made a commitment to being an expert and to helping others in that area whatever it happens to be. The process of learning to discover, develop, and deliver your experience, your expertise, and the benefits that you provide your clients, that's what Speed to Profit Marketing is about. So remember corner number one, uh, corner number one down here is, uh, that's three, sorry. Corner number one down here is about showing up consistently on across all of the platforms, your blog, social media, and so forth, in the language of the pain of the prospect. We're going to develop that enormously at Speed to Profit Marketing. Number two up here is to discover, develop, and deliver your personal story, and that's how you lead them from this 10-minute wow where you solved a huge problem for them to the place of total and complete and elegant solution for their problems in a way that then you become the answer, and of course, for that, you become handsomely paid and you become the answer instead of just an alternative. And remember, what is it? The key to that, of course, is what is it about your unique capability and story that makes you the answer, not just an alternative? Because if you're just an alternative, when people visit your site or see your advertisements, like, yeah, I'll check that out later. Yeah, that might, that might work. I don't know, right? And, and, of course, you know what happens. When you or I do that, we put it on the someday list, and most of the time I can never even find my way back to that website advertisement or page, and so I certainly don't buy anything there. I can't remember. The only place I actually buy is when it strikes me so hard because I've had a, this 10-minute wow or some problem solved or some piece of advice that I know and I can see immediately how to use powerfully, then I stay there. I read the page. I see what it is because it has already solved a problem and spoken to me in a resonant way. So the focus of your marketing material, if you take nothing away, take this. The focus of your marketing material is to solve a real problem, a real problem that's a big problem for your client or your potential client, and do it in 10 minutes or less so that you become the answer and not an alternative, and that way they come back to you again and again. Wow, you solved this huge problem in 10 minutes. What else is behind the curtain? And that, of course, is the secret question. Okay, <clears throat> so when you take the time to solve real problems and you do it in a big way, then, of course, you develop a relationship. And we know that relationships are the key to this because then customers come back. Two things happen. One, they come back again and again to you because their experience with your ability to solve problems is really good. And the second thing that they do is they tell other people, hey, you have that problem? I know who solves that better than anybody. In 10 minutes, I could fill in the blank, right? And when you become the subject of that discussion, then you get more clients. People come and they say, I need you. My friend told me. My business colleague told me. My competitor told me about this, that, and the other. And so you become the answer instead of an alternative, and you then start to create relationships. Uh, people come to you for help. They come to you for uh, solutions again and again, and then you get long-term customers. Okay. Perfect. <clears throat> okay. Now, um, if you are in the Hangout, you can. I'm done with the triangle. You can click back to my picture. I should have said that a minute ago. I, I clicked back on the YouTube video a bit ago. So if you aren't back to me on the picture, please do. Uh, and thank you. Uh, <clears throat> my staff reminded me that I hadn't told you to click back, so that's perfect. All right. So then, 
I want you to take away the message, of course, that you do have it. You have the ability to solve real problems in a real way that matter. And doing this will get you the opportunity to get paid handsomely for doing so. All right, now the last thing I want to um, talk about is since you do have it, share it. Share it. Share it as fast and as big as you can. How, you say? Well, I'll tell you how. Speed to profit marketing. A comprehensive, cohesive appearance and showing up appearance on all of the cord all of the social media in a coordinated way with a powerful consistent message that is in the language of your prospects pain or pleasure talking about how cool you are showing cats on roller skates just showing up with lots of posts and interesting quotes from other people and so forth that isn't it show up powerfully repeatedly and consistently in the language of your pain of the pain of your prospect solve real problems to real solutions that they have, connect it to the path with your personal journey and story, and then you're ready for part three of the money triangle, which we'll talk about in another uh, in another hangout. Now listen, if this today has been useful to you, give me a comment. Tell me about it. If it has not been useful to you, if you have not learned anything, tell me that too and tell me why not. If it has spoken to you and it resonates with you, uh, solving real problems, making real money, and it has struck you with one, you need to do that, and two, you need some help, you need to know how, please sign up for Speed to Profit Marketing. The seats are really limited, okay? Like I said, max 20, maybe as few as 12. 12 to 20 is what I'm kind of aiming for, and we don't have that many spots left. So if this resonates with you, go to speedtoprofitmarketing.com, the URL there on the page, and sign up. It will be the best investment you make in your marketing this year. I know that. So I have a wildly bold prediction <clears throat> that I make all the time. And people challenge me some, but mostly they just get scared because it means that they have to do something. If you and your business are not doing the speed to profit marketing principles, and you are not showing up authentically on video, in YouTube, using those tools in this year of 2014, your business is going to be decreasing and on the way out. That might scare you. You might say, well, I'll have a YouTube video. Well, I, are people watching it? Are they coming? Are you getting business because of it? If the answer is no, then it, you might as well not have it. One of the reasons that's true is because YouTube is now the largest search engine. You know what a search engine is. We have a verb named after that, Google. When we go online, we Google stuff, right? It means we go look it up on the computer. Do you know that people look stuff up on YouTube more than anywhere else in the world? Any other search engine? Do you know how come? We want to see somebody. We want to see it done. We want a visual demonstration. We want to see face. We want to hear the inflections of a voice. We want to see gestures. We want to see whatever it is being done. No like and trust is accomplished more powerfully through personal honesty, vulnerability, and video than anything else. Now that is a little tiny prelude about what we're going to be talking about in some of the next hangouts leading up to the event and what we're going to spend a good bit of time on on the event is how to create that kind of video that reaches right to the camera and grabs your prospects heart how do you do that I can tell you that it's possible because I do it I have people tell me I go to events and they'll say wow you're the same person as on the video exactly the same and I couldn't believe it I heard this and, ah so powerful I have people watch a video contact me on Facebook and hire me for substantial sums of money. That happens, it happens a lot. I can teach you how to do that. It has to do with learning to use the principles of speed to profit marketing. I'd love to do that. You know why? Because that's my favorite thing to do. My favorite thing to do is to help you create the speed to profit marketing um, system that is appropriate for your business, whether it's online, it's an online business, or an offline business because the cool thing about it is these principles apply to a bricks and mortar store I have clients that are bricks and mortar construction businesses construction companies solar companies you know all kinds of them dentists and others and again they're not trying to get clients in Beijing they're trying to get local clients so bricks and mortar internet online all of those uh, companies are massively benefited and can wildly increase their ability to get in front of their ideal customers, sign up more clients, make more money, serve more people, do more good.
through the principles of speed to profit marketing. So if this speaks to you and you're thinking to yourself, you know what? I need, I got to get me some of this. All right, well then speed to profit marketing.com uh, is the place to, to go. Get some more info, show up. Let's have a dialogue, see if that's right for you. And uh, if you want to have that explosion in your business, double, triple, even 10x your business by learning to get your perfect message in front of your ideal customer. Speed to Profit Marketing is for you. www.speedtoprofitmarketing.com. Again, leave comments below, uh, things that you like, things that you didn't like. Uh, tell me what works for you and what doesn't, and let's keep going. I'm going to do these hangouts twice a week, every week, until the event on March 24th, 5th, and 6th. Today is Monday. I'm going to do another one on Friday. The topics change. I'm not repeating them. I'm doing 10 hangouts that are packed full of Speed to Profit Marketing tips, tricks, and powerful principles. Until next time, thanks very much. Thanks for watching, and I'd love to see your comment. Love to see a, an application from you to attend the event. We'll see you.